Good morning. This is Daily Hebrew Declarations with Daniel Jedediah Cook, and I'm reading the declaration for today, February the 4th, 2021. The three Hebrew letters we're honoring today are Nun, Dalit, and Shin. Along with those three living letters, we're also honoring the spirit of understanding, the spirit of the Lord, and the spirit of might. The declaration today reads this, to continue to increase dimensions, dreams, and visions, all-consuming fire of Yahweh. Now, these past few days to me have been very, very deep. Uh, there's been a there's been this weight that, of glory that that seems to be to be not only just pressing on me, but others that I know of that that are feeling the same sort of weight. And sometimes we may interpret that as different things. But uh, I, when, when Yahweh starts to, when I start to feel something that just doesn't seem like it should be, or how, I don't even know how to, how to describe it, because there's something inside that begins to say, hey, uh, I'm doing something. And, and so the moment that I, I begin to feel, say, uh, an, an emotion or a, a situation, or I feel a heaviness, especially when I don't know why it's there, then the first thing I've that that Yahweh has been teaching me to do here lately has been to to focus on Him because you know the first thing I'll do whenever I feel those things is Yahweh is there anything in me that I need to take care of and then if I hear a no from that then the next thing I think of okay Yahweh then why are you feeling this way so it's it's that place of a relationship when. Uh, you know how sometimes you know Michelle and I will we love each other. We've been married thirty five years, and you know, but from time to time, you know, one of us might be a little bit irritated or bothered, and and you respond uh, or you say something to them. You know, so like if I say something to Michelle or if she says something to me, and uh, and I respond in an irritated response, then she's like, "Well, what's going on? How much more so is that true with Yahweh?" You know, when when as we we have that kind of relationship with him, that we begin to say, but but Yahweh, well, so so what's going on? Is there something in your heart? Is there something that you're drawing me towards? You see, quite some time ago, uh, Yahweh had taken me into the secret place, and when he did, he showed me a treasure that was hidden inside of that secret place, and I realized that that for so many times before, I had I had looked at those difficult times, I'd looked at those 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 dark places and condemned them to being something else rather than this place where Yahweh was trying to show me his treasure because at the other side of every one of those issues there was always a treasure it was just a matter of walking it through to the point of revealing or, or seeing that treasure and then once I realized that those treasures were there when he took me into the secret place and he showed me that then all of a sudden it became okay wait a minute you mean I could get to that treasure a whole lot quicker? Yeah, I can. It's it's a it's a matter of changing my attitude and changing my perspective and looking at that as being a place of of you know the of searching out the mysteries, if you will, or searching out that treasure. And so a a problem stopped being a problem and it started being a treasure hunt. That's really not what I wanted to talk about this morning, but it kind of lays the foundation for really the place that I do want to talk about because there's been an all-consuming fire that's been burning for quite some time now. You know, probably several months ago, Yahweh began to speak to me about, and the two shall become one flesh. And of course, I immediately went to this place of, of thinking about marriage and, and relationship and that sort of thing. And and I knew that there was, there was a, a part of it that had to do with that, but I knew there was something far deeper than that. Here lately, I've always been talking to me a lot about fire, the esh. You know, one day, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I woke up in the morning and and I spoke to you guys about this already, where Yahweh spoke uh, a Hebrew word to me. And really, it came to me in the letters form. Now, most of the time when I'm uh, engaging with the living letters, it's it's their their beings that are with me and they're walking with me and they're 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 we're communicating we're talking about each other we're talking about the uh you know the living letters are beginning to show themselves to me 
and it's almost as if they're 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 living beings. And well, they are. Uh, not almost as if they are living beings, and they're walking side by side with me. But this time, when the living letters showed themselves, they were the actual letters themselves. And uh, the 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 three letters were Beit, Aleph, and Shin, which is the Hebrew word Baesh. And Baesh literally means of, in, of, or with fire. And as I began to meditate a little bit more on this, I began to see what Yahweh was trying to reveal to me. And I'm still digging this through. And so even now, if if my my words seem to fumble a little bit, just, just bear with me because I know there's such a great depth here that Yahweh is taking me to. But I want to share it with you guys because I'm seeing this in what we're talking about today. You see, the all-consuming fire of Yahweh, I, I began to think about some things that I had already talked about in the past, about the fact that, that not only had Yahweh shown me his treasure in the secret place, but he also showed me a, uh, the, the treasury room. Now, I thought that that treasury room, the first time he showed me that, was the treasury rooms of heaven for all of us, because the treasury room was immense. It was massive. It really went beyond even what I could see. But yet, when after after a couple of weeks, Yahweh said, "But you thought that that was that was the whole treasury room of heaven." He goes, "No, that was your treasury room. That was what I've laid aside for you." But Yahweh, it's so immense, so massive. I can't even I can't even see the ends of it. Yes, but that's your treasury room, and each one of us have that same treasury room, <clears throat> and so. You know, in that in that same place, I've, you know, when Yahweh began to talk to me about the Hebrew word emunah, which is the Hebrew word for faith, I began to see a different perspective of faith than I'd ever seen before. So let me describe it to you this way, because that's this is what I'm trying to get to today. <clears throat> when Yahweh took me in to show me faith, it was almost as if he took me into the very center of that treasury room, and he sat me in that treasury room. As I sat there, my whole body became a flame, a fire. And as it did, you know, the room, because the room was dark and I could see out to a certain extent, but then there was what, what, what I call an olam uh, at a certain point. In other words, I could see out to a certain extent, but then there was darkness beyond that point. I couldn't see what was beyond that point. But yet I knew, because all I had to do was to walk in that direction and there was a revealing of what was behind what appeared to be the ending point, but it wasn't. It was it was is almost as if it went on uh, in, in into infinity in that place or eternally. But anyway, that's that's not the point that I'm trying to make here. It was just this this place where I was I was beginning to to see that Yahweh had given me these things, and I sat He sat me at the center of this, and I became a flame at the very center of the of the of this treasury room. And as I was sitting there, I began to think about what would it be like if I knew that Yahweh had given me all things that I needed? How would my day-to-day -day actions be different? How would my steps be different? How would the things that I think about and the way that I move and the way that I handle things be different if I knew that all of this that was sitting around me was mine? Well, Yahweh told me already, this is yours. This does belong to you. Then why am I running around asking you, Yahweh, may I, may I, may? Well, now there is a certain amount. There is protocol. Don't get me wrong. I want to be, I want to be careful there because there's protocol in being able to withdraw from that treasuries of heaven. There were two things that, that, that there was a fear of the Lord on me when he, when he took me there. And he, he told me that I could withdraw from these treasuries of heaven and they were permission and choice to ask him permission to, to withdraw from there. But, and then also choice. So, you know, but there's certain things just like our children where, where you know, I, I couldn't see my daughter going before my refrigerator, kneeling down with her hands clasped and saying, refrigerator, please give me a glass of milk. I so much would like to have a glass of milk. Would you Would you please give me a glass of milk? Because if I'm hearing this from the other room, I'm probably going to holler out to her and say, hey, open the kitchen door, open the, the refrigerator door, go grab you a glass of milk and get the milk yourself. You see what I'm saying? Because there are certain things that are 
a part of just life. But then there are other things where we have to ask permission. And so this is what all of this has to do with. But let me leave you with this today. How differently would you act? How differently would you handle things if you knew that everything that you needed was right there? How differently would you see them? How differently would you look?